Hey guys, Mel Modeler here. World War One quick build for you today. We are looking at Avis's Bristol M1C. Well, let's get inside the box. So, really simple then. We have our bag of bits and our decals. And we have our instructions. Let's have a look at the plastic. So we've got a bit of flash there. Nothing that a hobby knife won't deal with. There's the wings. Let's have a look at the engine. That's a good indication of detail. Pretty good, actually. And on the inside of the fuselage, not much going on there. But looks okay. Relatively straightforward assembly, which is, of course, why I'm doing this as one of the quick build videos. So, cockpit goes together, bit of interior work going on in there. Top wing goes on the fuselage, tailplane, engine cowling on, propeller and undercarriage. Very simple, very nice. So, first thing we've done then is given a very rough wood grain effect. So, what we've used is a, a tan colour and then mahogany and a stiff brush and yeah we've just streaked that across and that should look really good given that that is my finger for scale well that's the fuselage together you can see that's just pinned on the top half at the moment so you get an idea of how much you see bearing in mind the top is not on there yet uh, we're going to need to pin the bottom with glue as well and this will probably need quite a bit of sanding and filling before it's ready to go. Um, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. Just doing some dry fitting on the wings then. And you can see just how much of that interior you don't see. But I'm going to leave that off and obviously take the wing off as well. And finish the build of that cockpit area because we will be able to touch up some of those parts maybe get a wash in there um, just so that it looks a bit better once um, the top wing I say top wing the only wing <laughs> is on there so yeah there you go there you have it then that's the tail plane and the wing attached and we've got some paint on this now so we have the brown upper surface and we have the linen undersides. And yeah, we'll just mask up the cockpit area and get that gray on. Well, this one's about ready for some gloss varnish. And that's the decals done. 